According to the latest updates about the ongoing conflict in Amhara region is that the conflict rages on, with Fano steadily expanding its territorial reach into new areas within Gojam and Wello. Concurrently, the Ethiopian National Defense Forces, ENDF, continue to perpetrate grave atrocities against civilians, compelling an increasing number of people to abandon urban centers and align themselves with FANO groups in pursuit of safety and security. The regime forces remain undeterred in their third-day endeavor to wrest control of Ferizbet in the Degadamot Warada region. However, their recent attempts to infiltrate the Degadamot area from multiple directions faced staunch resistance. Significant confrontations unfolded in Anjeni Medhani Alem, located approximately 15 kilometers from Dembeka town via Ferizbet. These clashes resulted in substantial losses for the regime's troops. Along the route to Mota, regime forces carried out a mass arrest of young men, yet their efforts to advance into Dega de Mott proved unsuccessful. As of today, Debre Elias district has once again come under Fano's control. Over the past two days, regime forces inflicted harm on civilians and caused extensive property damage in Debre Elias and the neighboring villages, leading to the tragic loss of two civilian lives. In the Jiga area, regime forces unleashed heavy artillery strikes upon residential structures near Buerba, resulting in severe disruptions to transportation and the normal routines of daily life. Notably, a brief yet intense firefight erupted on the outskirts of Finote Salam city last night, with the exact casualty details yet to be confirmed. It is worth mentioning that several weeks ago, regime forces resorted to using drones, resulting in the tragic deaths of over 70 Amharas. The situation in Debramako city has remained largely unchanged, with disruptions to transportation and essential services persisting, even in the absence of active gunfire. Though no active fighting is reported in McCain Salam town in South Wello, tensions are steadily escalating. Regime forces have fortified their positions by constructing trenches in the downtown area, and heavy artillery, along with machine guns, have been strategically deployed in and around Hidasi and Bahiru hotels at the town's centre. On August 30th, a heavy artillery shell fired by regime forces struck Barina Secondary and Preparatory School, even though there was no Fano presence in the vicinity. Additionally, ENDF commanders are reportedly coercing local police officers and state militia members to march to Mekdela Kebele, Borena Woreda, to confront Fano, a demand that has been adamantly refused. In a further bid to intimidate the town's populace, regime forces are conducting unjustified mass arrests, conducting house-to-house -house searches, and coercing detained civilians to confess on state media while posing as Fano members captured in combat. In Wogdi Woreda, civilians are being subjected to mass arrests on the pretext of familial ties to Fano members. These individuals are being pressured to divulge information about Fano's whereabouts. The ongoing confrontations between Fano and regime ENDF forces in Karamichig, situated between Merhabeti in North Shua and Jama in South Wolo, continue to intensify. In Kobo, a regime forces commander publicly issued a stark threat during a church gathering, vowing to employ heavy weaponry to devastate the town should even a single soldier be harmed within its confines. Residents in Kobo and Woldia are now facing mass detentions after refusing the NDF's mandate to raise funds for their operations. Contrary to the more turbulent regions, there have been no reported confrontations in the Gonda zones, encompassing central west, north and south Gonda zones today. Fano still maintains control over nearly all districts in these areas. Nevertheless, the ENDF's persistent and alarming pattern of committing atrocities against residents in the areas under their governance continues, encompassing Gonda City, Debretabor City, Ebenat Town, Ebenat Warida, Galego Town and Quora Woreda.
This dire situation has driven many individuals to align themselves with FANO as a means to escape the pervasive abuse perpetrated by the ENDF and to actively engage in the fight for their cherished freedom and security.